Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Steam Wing 33 Plays XCOM Enemy Within the Long War. I'm Steam Wing 33, and without further ado, we got a UFO crash site. Um, so my track record with these is, uh, let, let's be straight, it's terrible. I, um, I almost never do well on these. She's got, like, five armor. Jesus. Who are you? So she's got, this means armor, essentially. So, like, if I slap a tack fist on her... It gives her plus 2 HP, but this means that she has, like, damage resistance, I think, is uh, if I remember correctly. So she's very difficult to kill. <laughs> um, that's kind of strange. Um, I turned on randomized stats, if I'm not mistaken. I think I did that beforehand. I don't actually remember. Um, so, like, some of these people have, like, minus 3 damage threshold, 64 aims, stuff like that. Um, we're taking everybody... I mean, I prefer to kind of keep it. If you have 70 or above, you can come on the alien crash mission. Is there anybody with, like, crazy high aim? Like, somebody with, like, an 80 or something like that? We have a lot of recruits. <laughs> I didn't realize how many how many recruits we had. Um, uh, I think we're I think it's, we're fine like this. Um, we got lots of people, which is good. This guy's got 4 HP, minus 1 damage threshold, but... You know, 4 AP. 29 wills, kind of crap, but 71 aim, can't complain. Um, and I think this loadouts are fine. We're going to give you a med kit instead of a grenade, though. Um, just because I think that's a little better for right now. Um, laser sights all around. Uh, why don't you take... Why don't you take a laser sight instead? Uh, get that plus 5 aim going. And I think we're good. I think it should be fine. Uh, I don't think this should be too hard. It was a small UFO, so the biggest thing we're going to have to deal with is the Outsider. So her ponytail went freaking nuts. Um, the hardest thing we're going to have to deal with is that Outsider at the end inside the spaceship. So it should be fine. It, sh it should be fine. That's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> I, I, I say completely understanding that the worst thing that could happen is everyone dies, because it's happened before. Um, on a small UFO, too. Alright, now where is the target here. I don't see any fire. Um, here's the ledge. I think it's over here, so we'll push in that direction, I guess. Um, of course, you know, taking cover and stuff like that. Ah, it's over there. It's this way. So it's it landed like this. So we'll go in that direction then. Um, if you're wondering how I can tell that, you follow the fire. Um, they mentioned it offhandedly in like one of like the chat logs from one of the NPC guys. And uh, for a while, I didn't know that that was actually a thing. And then I figured out that it was a thing. And, well, now I know. Um, I'm okay dashing out a little bit, because I don't actually see any aliens. And we got plenty plenty of space to move around. And we've all got to start pressing in this direction. So go ahead and overwatch everyone else. And let's see what happens. Um, oh, rightio then. Rightio, neighborinos. Let's see here. I want to move somewhere where I can maintain action points. I I think yeah, it's like over here somewhere. Um, so that should be fine. Uh, I need to maintain cover while simultaneously moving forward, which you know it's not always easy. I don't. Some of these missions are hard, and I think the long war needs to take into account the fact that like half cover is garbage. But, like, sometimes you need to use half cover to move forward. Because, um, like, there was no, there's no full cover anywhere in this area that, like, is getting me towards my, my destination. There's plenty that's, like, around. Like, this tree is full cover. This tree is full cover. That one over there. These two. Um, some of these rock ledges are full cover. But most of them are... Most of the stuff that I'm hiding behind is half cover. Um, which, you know, is fine, I guess. But... I don't know. It's just upsetting because uh, I've gotten, I've played enough XCOM just over the course of like my channel's history and you know the, all the time I have played with it off camera and things like that. That um, I just find it strange that like, yeah, half covers half covers terrible and there's like almost no full cover anywhere. Urban levels are really the place where you want to be looking for that kind of stuff. Like this lady, why is her movement allowance so garbage? Like, 
it, it's it's absolutely terrible. Well, whatever. I guess I should maybe start putting them all in attack vests so they can run further. Because um, the armor makes them slow. Which, you know, is fine, I guess. For now. I'll probably just ignore that. Um, no, why don't you scout to here? Do you see anything? I'll make decisions based on what this guy sees. Uh, so what do we got? Okay, here's the spaceship. Which means that the sectoids that were here are probably like here-ish, if I had to guess. Um, which, you know, is helpful. It's good to know where the enemy is. <laughs> um, so why don't we go ahead and move up to here. I'll make this ridge, this ridge our, uh, our destination line. Um... For most of our characters. For some of them, they'll end up back here. But for anybody that can make it there, they will be making it there. <sighs> All right, 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 right. Let's see here. Where do you go? I don't want to put her too far away from the remaining of the, the remainder of the pack, so I'll go to there. And why don't you run? There's no cover. There's no cover. There's no cover. Put her here. Alright, and we'll overwatch these two, and we'll wait and see. I don't know. These missions are all slow burns. Um, that's bad. Um, we're getting flanked right now. Uh, we'll probably send the two that are up on that alert edge over to investigate what that noise is. It's I, I know it's a sectoid, but we're probably going to send them to go deal with it. Um... You don't have any bogeys yet, so we'll, we'll split up. These three will take the front assault over here, while these guys come over here and check the flank and make sure we're not going to get surrounded, because that would be bad. I don't need to be a military expert to tell you that being surrounded is a bad thing. Um, but so far, it's, it's going pretty slow. I don't have any any targets yet. There we go. Found some stuff. Okay. Um, what do you got? 26. 226s, huh? Why don't you steady aim for this turn? We'll deal with that in a minute. Move you here. Why don't you steady aim? Alright, here we go. Big moves. Big money. Don't whammy. Come here. What can you see? 20, 31, 231s, huh? Why don't you steady aim as well? Um, I'm trying to get in the habit of using steady aim more often. Uh, I think it's a good idea, personally. Uh, I want to be very careful not to accidentally set off the outsider, which I know is inside of the spaceship, because uh, the outsider is always inside of the spaceship. Because um, if I set it off too early, if we're not in position and I accidentally set off the outsider, we will be in a heap of trouble. So, you know, that's bad. And why don't you overwatch? Alright, so that uh, sectoid moved from full cover to half cover, which is useful for us. What do you got? Nothing? Okay. Zooming in over there for no reason, it's fine. Uh, that's a hit. Are you going to hunker down? Hunker down. Good. All right. It takes away a shooter, but I'm kind of okay with that, given that this means he also will have a hard time dying. But apparently we have the worst luck today, comboed with the fact that, you know, we're in the worst position in the universe. 61's not too bad. Why don't you take that? Good. One dead. Um, why don't you come here? And Overwatch. In fact, why don't you all fall back a little bit? Just because I'm worried that if that line breaks, then we'll we'll be in a lot of trouble. I figured that you know. Oh crap! Okay, lol, lol. Wow, wow, wow. I don't. 
Names are hard. Uh, he's critically injured. Um, do you have a med kit? No, you have an AP grenade, though. Which might be useful. We'll see. Um, so that sectoid's in full cover. But... But what? But what, Andre? What are we butting? Uh, this is the worst. Okay, why don't we reposition to here? New dash to here. We're going basically going to just full press into them. Thirty-seven. If you wake the shot, it'll be a hero. Nope. Looks like the Aussie didn't make it. Uh, I probably should have hunkered down now that I'm like thinking about it, but I didn't think about it. So there you go. Why don't you go here? That's half cover. Oh, damn it! That, the area like the square right next to it's full cover. Damn it. Oh well. Um, you can't go into the fire. <laughs> and why don't you go there then? All right. Come on, red shirts. Get it together. Oh, there goes the Aussie. That's bad. Okay, um, what do we do about this? So, who has a med kit? You have a med kit. Why don't you come... See, I don't want to send her there because it's where the other two have just gotten murdered. Clearly that spot is cursed. So why don't you come here. Get that hot full cover action. Um, no, you know, we're going to go there. And we're going to stabilize the one who has the less turns to be alive. And we'll just hope that the, um, the this guy over here, uh, this man, I don't remember his name. We'll just hope that he gets his shit together long enough to um, deal with the remaining person. She got three turns. Three turns is a lot of time. A little bit of reloading. Which is good. Martz, why don't you murder this? You can really see, like, the, the geometry, like, just falling off back there. Um, sloppy. Uh, not that the game, that my play is very sloppy right now. Um, why don't you steady weapon? We'll just... Go ahead and full court press this last sectoid. Okay. I'm hoping that he moves somewhere where it'll be easier for us to shoot him. Okay. Good. Now why don't you come here and stabilize the remaining lady? All right, cool. Everybody's alive, which is good. Um, I didn't have any any deaths so far, which you know I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk that up as a victory, especially in this bullshit. Can we uh, 46? Not too bad. That's a miss. Yes, it is a little bull. I wish you had not sucked. 32. Come on. Nope, that sucks. Okay, hopefully he bails. I'm hoping that he just leaves. Tries to, like, flee back to the ship or something. No, okay. Um, why don't you all... You hunker down, because he's apparently shooting at you. You steady weapon. You steady weapon. And we'll just take more... 55s at him, I guess. All right, that's great. Okay, fine. This is really going <laughs> really terribly, actually. All right, at least we've got some shooters. Um, now for the hard part, actually. A pack of three sectoids gave me more trouble than like the entirety of the last mission, basically. It's depressing.
Yeah, we're going to have a lot of injuries after this. People probably going to be absent from missions for a while. But, you know, you don't want to see this early in the game. Um, well, I was like, since we know there's not really any enemies in the area, we'll just go ahead and just run. Run everybody up to positions where they could prepare to assault the alien craft. That's good. I like, I like, um, I like, I like this kind of thing. Not this, the, the double injury, this guy being hurt, all of this sucks, but actually knowing which direction the aliens are coming from is nice. Oh, fucking great. Okay, um, you need to move. So why don't you go here? It's full cover, so it should be fine. 41, 28, take the 41. Alright, big miss. They're all big misses. Any miss is a big miss, but, you know, this one in particular was pretty bad. Um, I would have liked to have had some manner of fatality. Um, why don't you go here? Steady aim. And why don't you go here? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, um, change of plans. Why don't you come back to here and stay there? Alrighty, we got a problem. Got major problems. <laughs> um, I did not want that outsider to get popped. This is bad. Um, you now he's just gonna come out and fucking wreak havoc all over the place. She's dead. God damn it. Okay. Um, why don't you steady aim? Lynn, you are not safe there. Please come here. 31, 39. Take the 39, I guess. Alright, cool. Got one of them dead. That eases us up a little bit, but we're... We're still in a bad place, essentially. Um, that outsider by itself is a problem. Let alone, you know, we're getting flanked by two sectoids at the same time. Um, that 26 is garbage. Fucking take it, I guess. Okay, he managed to make it happen. Um, yeah, you know, color me surprised. The big problem with outsiders is that they heal every turn. So, like, that damage is useless, because, um, like, she's just going to heal it off. Blue murder this. Good. Okay. Um, so she's taking aggro from it, which is good. God damn it. Okay. Um, everybody needs to reload. You take the shot. 32 is worse than before. Oh, it's because she was steady aiming. Right, right. Um, why don't you come here? Yes, thank you, Dr. Volan. That's a power core. That's a computer. This is actually a really good ship. I hope we get out of this alive. Yes, thank you. Go away. Yes, thank you, Dr. Shen. I appreciate the out of confidence. Why don't you reload? Yeah, we're basically gonna just press the uh, the outsider. It's the only way to kill the fucking things. You have to like put down all the fire in the world on them in one turn, or they just they just shrug it off, um, which you know is a problem. Uh, we need to get into a better position, but I don't want to go somewhere that doesn't have full cover. Um, essentially we're stu kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because I need to push in to kill the outsider but I also don't want to push in because it'll be bad for my health we'll go here for now okay good he reloaded that's a turn of time that we have now uh, why don't you dash to here 
Uh, this should make the thing move. It's risky, but we're going to have to make some big plays here. Seven damage is not bad. Um, why don't you come here? Super easy to flank this position, which is not good, but that's what we got. Come on. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay, so she survived that, which I won't lie, surprises me. Um, what can you do from here? 42. Can you throw an AP grenade at that? here yes he can all right good hurt this hurt it bad good all right now we can take this lovely lady over here and flank kill this guy to death awesome only a lot of grievous wounds one operative lost oh that's right the lady who got exploded with the outsider rifle i remember yeah that went bad that was bad it was a bad mission um, I mean, it's kind of, it's a wake-up call, because it's like, you know, we don't, we're not immortal. Please click that, thank you. Um, but it's kind of nice to, only one death when everything was going that wrong is good, which I know sounds weird, but that's, that's the, the situation we're in, is that one person dying was actually pretty cool um not cool like oh man i'm so happy that happened but you know cool in the sense that there are worse things that could have happened let's been build uh can we build this quickly no build it normally uh we're gonna build another power generator and uh yeah so i think with that we're gonna call it quits for this episode so thank you all for watching if you like what you saw let me know if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date on when i post more videos and if you really liked what you saw, leave a like. You know, it helps me out a lot. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and do all the other fun stuff that comes with being a YouTube person. Uh, so thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye!